over the weekend I went to a location I've never visited before and it was chaotic, it was crowded, it was tough to find images. However, I was able to walk away with a few that I am quite fond of. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you some footage from that morning as well as talk to you about how I took the photos and what I was looking for when I was taking them. Alright, let's dive in. So this morning, I am hiking in Kenosha Pass in beautiful, I think, Grant, Colorado. Going through an aspen grove, and I'm watching out for, uh, I'm watching out for small little like, side scenes to photograph more than main dramatic vistas. I feel like I got plenty of those in Rocky Mountain. So now it's kind of time to just focus on the details. So that's what I'm doing. And in, a, in scenes like this, where there's a lot of beauty, but you're tight and in the scene itself, it's good practice, I find, to look for that type of stuff instead of trying to find a view that isn't there. You know, this reminds me of Boulder, Utah. I was there two years ago in the fall of 2022. Looks just like it. Well, the hike is over. It was awesome. It was really, really good. Um, but my God, is it crowded. Uh, this is, we're at Kenosha Pass, and um, I'd compare it to Franconia, Franconia's Notch in New Hampshire in the summer or in the fall, if you've ever been there, where it's an absolute madhouse from morning, from dawn to dusk. It is crazy. Um... I was able to get a spot this morning, like, like I was able to park without issue, but if I got here now, I don't even know what time it is, um, if you got here now, you'd be having an issue parking. It is 9.30, so if you got here, like, two and a half hours after sunrise, you'd be toast. So, yeah, this goes to show you, always be there for sunrise. The next morning, we got onto the trail a lot early now that I actually knew where I would be hiking. Um, and I was able to get a lot of images that I really am quite fond of. It was a far quieter experience because we were out there so early we saw far fewer people until we began the descent. All in all, I think Kenosha Pass is a beautiful place and one I'd love to go back to. Hope you enjoyed the images from this day. I didn't take many videos on the trail. And uh, yeah. Enjoy the peace and serenity of the rest of the video.
What's going on? Oh, another beautiful day at Kenosha Pass. It is Sunday, September 29th, I believe, right? Yep, September 29th. Um, me and Sophie, want to say hi? Hello. We just did, um, just did the same trail that I did yesterday, but we went a little bit farther this time around. So that was nice. Um, it's beautiful, beautiful sunrise. I would honestly say better than yesterday. There was clouds out there, so that was cool. And it was also um, really quite, uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? Like the, like we could see like the cloud, like the sun and the alpine glow on the, on the opposite mountains in like a major way. So that was really awesome. So yeah, now we're going to head back home. Um, maybe have some breakfast, do something, something to eat and uh, go from there. So can't wait to show you guys the images and uh share the images with you guys that's english and yeah i'm glad that we got here as early as we did because it is mobbed again so yeah it was nice As you can see, we made it out of the car. Sophie's up there. We're walking along the rail trail right now. It is absolutely zoo city back there. It is just mocked. Um, but hey, you know what? I can't blame these people for wanting to catch out something beautiful. I did too. I just got here earlier. <laughs> so I'm glad that we did. We, we are reaffirmed in our decision. It was nice and quiet this morning, and it is crazy on the trail now. So, yeah, just take a little lap, a little stroll before we head back to the car, and then we're going to take off. All right, take care. i got to drive home. Bye, guys. It was good, uh, it was good hiking, and I hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.